In a dramatic escalation of tensions, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, DRC, has accused Rwanda of carrying out a drone attack targeting civilian aircraft at the airport in Goma, the strategic eastern city at the heart of the conflict-ridden North Kivu province. The incident comes amidst a resurgence of violence in the region, with clashes intensifying around the town of Sake, located just 20 kilometers from Goma between the M23 rebels, allegedly backed by Rwanda and Congolese government forces. In this video, we aim to shed light on the ongoing situation, providing a balanced view of the unfolding events. We'll delve into the allegations made by both parties, examining their credibility and implications. Please share your thoughts and opinions in the comments section below, enriching the discussion with diverse perspectives. Additionally, we're striving to reach our target of 100,000 subscribers by the end of this month, and your support in achieving this goal is greatly appreciated. Recent developments have fueled concerns about the escalating violence in Eastern DRC, with reports of dozens of casualties among soldiers and civilians. The UN Security Council has expressed alarm at the deteriorating situation and condemned the M23 offensive near Goma, calling for urgent action to address the crisis. The latest clashes have forced tens of thousands of civilians to flee neighboring towns towards Goma, exacerbating an already dire humanitarian situation. As government forces and rebel groups vie for control of strategic territories, the security landscape remains volatile, with no end in sight to the cycle of violence. The conflict has now spread to new frontiers, with reports of fighting in the village of Kashuga, marking a significant expansion of the conflict zone. This development has raised concerns about the safety of international companies operating in the region, as well as the impact on local communities. With diplomatic efforts failing to bring about a resolution to the conflict, attention has turned to the African Union summit in Addis Ababa, where leaders from across the continent are expected to discuss the crisis. The outcome of these discussions will be critical in determining the future trajectory of the conflict and the prospects for peace in the region. As tensions simmer and violence escalates, the plight of civilians caught in the crossfire remains a pressing concern. Urgent action is needed to address the root causes of the conflict and pave the way for a sustainable peace that safeguards the lives and livelihoods of all those affected. Lieutenant Colonel Guillaume Njik Kaido, the Army spokesperson for North Kivu Province, asserted that the drone attack occurred in the early hours of Saturday, violating the territorial integrity of the DRC. He stated, It had obviously come from the Rwandan territory, emphasizing the gravity of the intrusion. The repercussions of the attack were significant, as confirmed by reports of a civilian aircraft sustaining damage. While Army aircraft remained unscathed, the strike on the civilian aircraft raised concerns about the safety of air travel in the region. Despite the gravity of the situation, the Rwandan government has yet to respond to the allegations, leaving unanswered questions about the motivation behind the attack and its potential implications for regional stability. Eyewitnesses in Goma reported hearing two loud explosions around the time of the blast, underscoring the intensity of the attack and its impact on the local population. Security sources indicated the presence of unexploded ordnance at the site, heightening concerns about further violence. Alain Waikani, reporting from Goma for Al Jazeera, highlighted the significance of the drone attack, suggesting that it demonstrated the M23 rebels' capability to execute sophisticated military maneuvers. The DRC, backed by the United Nations and Western countries, has accused Rwanda of supporting the rebels in a bid to control the region's vast mineral resources, an allegation vehemently denied by Kigali. In conclusion, the situation in the Eastern Democratic Republic of the Congo remains deeply concerning, with allegations of external interference exacerbating tensions and prolonging the suffering of civilians caught in the crossfire. While both sides present their narratives, it is crucial to critically examine the evidence and engage in dialogue to seek a peaceful resolution to the conflict. As the international community continues to monitor the situation, it is imperative for all parties involved to prioritize the well-being of the Congolese people and work towards sustainable peace and stability in the region. By fostering transparency, accountability, and dialogue, we can move closer to addressing the root causes of the conflict and building a brighter future for all those affected. We thank you for joining us in this discussion and encourage you to stay informed and engaged on this important issue. 
Together, we can make a difference and contribute to positive change in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video to help us amplify awareness and reach our goal of 100,000 subscribers by the end of this month. Thank you for your support.